Uncontrolled pressure release from storage containers can be extremely dangerous, spreading chemicals, injuring workers, and damaging property. The range of options available to mitigate bulging drums is almost as varied as the number of organizations that might respond. Some options are inexpensive, such as relieving drum pressure through puncture. For example, by firing a bullet into the barrel, or puncturing it with an arrow or spear gun. These techniques don't cost much, but are in themselves inherently dangerous, through the possibility of ricochets or flash ignition of the drum's contents. At the other end of the spectrum are expensive remote-controlled robots that can fire disabling slugs into suspect barrels. By the way, we were able to clean up the camera after this demonstration. And other techniques exist. There's several different methods out there uh, used for opening bulging drums. One of the methods we've been told people use is, uh, is take a forklift and set the tines on top of the, the lid, and then using a bung wrench, you loosen the bung and relieve the pressure on the bung. Uh, this is not something that we would recommend that people do. Another method of dealing with pressurized drum is to apply, apply ice or dry ice. By cooling it, we reduce the pressure and decrease the danger uh, when eventually you, s you have to open it. At Los Alamos, we've developed the remote container sampling device. This device is used to vent bulging or pressurized drums. It's a pneumatically operated device. Uh, has a, a cable and uh, air hoses that extend 150 feet away from the uh, bulging drum. Uh, the ram pokes a hole through the uh, barrel. The seal then seals the material inside the barrel and the pressure can be vented through a plastic line uh, to the sample bag or to an, another container. This device is lightweight, can be operated with uh, ease with just one person and in case we have a, a catastrophic failure of the container you are at least 150 feet away from the device when it's operated. When working with flammable or combustible materials an inert gas can be injected into the tube and this reduces the likelihood of a fire or explosion. So when dealing with uh, pressurized drums, we recommend that you use some sort of remote container sampling device such as this or uh, projectile type operation. One other method of depressurizing bulging drums is to use a disruption tool. Disruption tools can usually be acquired from your local bomb disposal team if you have one in the area. There are several different types. This is the most common type. It's called the pan disruptor. It's issued to every bomb team by the FBI Hazardous Devices School. Best way to do it is you need to go in protected in gear much like this. You set your tool up. It's initiated by a piece of shock tube or non L. Your cartridge is right in the breech. You set it up from a distance of about 25 feet from the barrel so you're still protected. You go ahead, aim it with a laser sight to about midsection of your barrel. Remove your sight, back off to a remote area and fire from there and you can be totally protected from the barrel uh, during depressurization.